Leo. Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Leo placement. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Leo, but you don't know yet. You don't know that yet. It's a prediction. I pray before each and every one of my readings, so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. All right? The first message that we have is manifesting you. Okay. So, I feel like as of lately, your connection can just be infused with a lot of intense energy. Okay? I feel like the energy has been very, very intense. And this may be showing up in your connection as you thinking about your masculine more often. Okay, I'm, I keep getting the word specific, okay? So this reading may be specific or your masculine could be manifesting something specific with you, okay? Wow, I just got visual. So I feel like at this stage of your connection, this masculine wants to have visual access to you, Divine Feminine, okay? And this is something specific that they're manifesting. So this masculine could very well be wanting to come out of no contact, but I'm getting clearly, they want to see you, okay? So this could be in person, this could be in the form of a meetup, this could be over the phone, video chat, FaceTime, Something about them having visual access to you is very important to them at this stage of the connection here. For some of you, this may be a total dynamic shift, shift if you have gone a great deal of time without seeing your person, without speaking to your person. But for some reason, okay, this masculine is manifesting you and specifically they're manifesting seeing you at this time, okay? But I'm also picking up on this energy of resistance. So I don't know if this is like a look into their internal process, but I'm definitely getting that although they are manifesting you, there's something that they feel a little bit apprehensive about. This could be about having physical contact with you here. This could be about them seeing you. Maybe there's been a great deal of time and space between you two, okay? But yeah, they're a little bit apprehensive for some reason, okay? I'm definitely feeling that there's a great deal of emotion that this masculine is feeling at this time that they may want to express. But something about their energy is coming through really, really bold, okay? Really matter of fact. And it's almost as if they want to see you. They maybe want to sit across from you. Something about them being in your presence is pulling on them heavily at this time. So... I definitely feel like you may pick up on this energy, Divine Feminine. You definitely can feel the level of intensity rising. But for some of you, you may feel such a rush of energy and then it may go away. Because I'm definitely feeling apprehensive. It's like your person comes in really sure, really matter of fact. And then for some reason, they pull back their energy because there's something about you that's making them feel um, a little bit hesitant, okay? So let's get some more information to see what this energy is about. Okay. The next message we have is what the F is going on. Yeah. There's definitely a push and pull dynamic. Um, and when this energy usually comes up, I usually feel like this is due to something external, but this feels very, very personal. Okay, um, this is something that's directly affecting your person about this connection here. And I honestly feel like this is a look into their internal process. It's almost as if they're kind of talking to themselves and questioning themselves about what's actually going on in this connection. Because I feel as though they're very, very intentional about manifesting you or about manifesting something specific with you here. But it's almost as if they're kind of giving themselves a pep talk, okay? They're trying to figure out what their own issue is, okay? Because this is definitely something personal, something that they're dealing with, um, this apprehensive energy that's coming through right now here. Um, it's almost as if your person is asking themselves, like, what the F is the issue here? 
Why can't I get things back on track with this divine feminine? So there may have been a really huge dynamic shift. I feel like there's a vast difference um, within where you were in the beginning and where you are now. There's also this energy of this masculine feeling like they have to kind of start over with you here, okay? And I feel like that may be triggering to them, really, really triggering to them at this stage of the connection right now. But yeah, this is definitely a look into their, into their mind, into their heart space. They're really asking themselves, what is the issue here? Okay, I'm manifesting this, this physical union, okay, seeing this divine feminine, talking to this divine feminine, but at this stage right now, I feel a little bit apprehensive. And, and why, why do I feel this way? It's kind of like they're checking themselves. Or when they have this emotion, this kind of intense emotion to come towards you and then they draw back, it's like they're checking themselves like, what's wrong with you? You know what I mean? What is the issue? Okay, they're really trying to get to the root of this issue here, right? Maybe they're frustrated with how long this is taking, okay? Maybe they're frustrated with themselves here, but I'm specifically getting that this energy is personal, okay? They're directing this energy inward towards themselves, okay? But I feel as if, um, for some of them, they, they may feel as if they need more information or something, but it's like they're, they're actively manifesting you, but they have these moments of frustration. And this is definitely a peek into what that looks like for them, okay? And this is normal, you know. When you go through this, this period of manifesting, when you have your heart set on something, when you have your desire set on something, and you feel as if things are not either moving as fast as you would like them to move or things are not coming into fruition, this definitely can affect your confidence in a sense. So maybe this is a blow to their confidence in a sense here. Um, I'm definitely getting that this is connected deeply to their emotional process. So whatever it is they're manifesting, um, it really has them tapping deep into their heart space and kind of pulling on those emotions, um, those kind of lower emotions here, like the fear, the doubt, all of these things are kind of rising to the surface here, but it clearly is connected to them seeing you. So maybe you haven't seen them in a while, something has happened here, something has transpired, why you were no contact, maybe they feel as if they have to start all over. Um, but this is really triggering at this time. It's kind of like they're manifesting, but then they're afraid. But they're manifesting, which this could actually, you know, this energy that they're feeling at this time, these emotions could be affecting the actual manifestation, right? Okay, so let's get some more get some more um, info here to see what's going on. So the next message we have is, wow, we have, I can't face you right now. Okay, so there it is. Um, wow, I just got, we can't be friends. Wow, okay. So now this is starting to make sense, okay? Where this masculine stands right now, they are aware that this connection has taken a huge shift, okay? And I don't feel like this connection has taken a turn for the worse, but the energy is like they feel as if they have to start over with you. And for them, this is extremely triggering, all right? And they feel as if they can't face you because of where you stand at this time, but What's weird is that they want this. They're actively manifesting this, okay? I feel like that this reading, okay, this, this may be very, very specific, but this reading is showing you what it's like inside of this masculine's mind and what their manifestation process is like, okay? They go in super confident, super specific. I'm getting specifically they are manifesting a reunion of some sort, a meetup, a FaceTime call, okay? But what's sticking out to me is that they want to see you, like they need eyes on you for some reason, okay? For some reason or another. 
but something inside of them is, is wanting to have visual access to you right now, Divine Feminine. But deep down, they're frustrated because they don't know how this will really make them feel. They feel as if this will trigger them. And I'm not getting this in a bad way, but I'm getting, especially with, with We Can Be Friends, they may feel as if they're in the friend zone, maybe because of how much time has went by here. Okay, maybe they feel as if you're gonna treat them as a friend. Okay, maybe the way that you engage this masculine has changed. It's a vast difference from how it used to be. And this is really, really triggering. And it's, it's weird because they still wanna see you. They still wanna talk to you. They still wanna have access to you in this way. But basically, they're coming through letting you know that it's almost impossible for them to act casual around you when, when they feel way deeper, you know? Wow, okay. So this, this may be very, very specific. This is definitely someone who is in love with you, okay? And right now, they are actively manifesting you, right? But it's almost as if when they actually think about what it would be like to sit across from you or to, to look in your eyes or to engage you in a certain kind of way, it frustrates them. And they ask themselves if they will actually be able to do this, okay? Wow. So yeah, so, so this is a masculine that clearly has deep romantic feelings for you, okay? And for one reason or another, whether this be time, whether this be distance, um, you both, whether this be time or distance between you both, okay, um, they desire to change this. But like, it's almost as if the thought of facing you makes them really, really apprehensive, okay? And this is mainly because they, they feel as if their position has been downgraded in a sense. Um, maybe downgraded is not, is not the right word to use, but they feel as if they don't hold the same position that they held with you in the past. And this is triggering them, okay? To face you would be triggering to them at this at this time here, okay? And this, this is really what they feel at their core. Wow. But it, it's weird because they're actively manifesting you knowing this, okay? Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is heart, mind, body, and soul. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have no control when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, okay? This is a masculine who you have a powerful, energetic bond with, and they feel absolutely bonded with you in every sense of the word. Their heart space, their mind, their body, they have absolutely no control when it comes to you. It's almost as if their entire being reacts to you with or without their permission, okay? I'm getting that. It, it could be the simplest thing that you do or you say that causes them to react. This could also signify a merging as well that happened between the both of you. And although this is someone who you are at a distance with at this time, you've kind of merged in a sense you still have this energetic access to one another and you both know this. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like you both know this about each other. You know that all it takes is one look, one touch, one thing to be said and things could get really, really intense really quickly. So this may have you both on edge a bit, okay? But I'm getting this masculine is really feeling this energy at this time. And this is because they're actively manifesting this with you, but they're manifesting physical, okay being physically in your presence for some reason that is extremely important to them right now it's like they have this deep desire to connect with you on a physical level to sit across from you to see you to touch you to smell you okay i definitely feel like there's this deep yearning that this masculine has been feeling okay and they're at this place where they probably cannot contain it anymore right but they're also hesitant, okay? It's, and it's because they don't know how they will react to seeing you. They may do something impulsive. They may say something impulsive, okay? Maybe they don't want you to see them in a certain light. 
I'm not getting any negative energy with this. This is like genuine nervousness. This is someone who has been away from you. This is someone who loves you. Someone who holds you in a very high regard here, who knows that although this is something that they want, something that they desire really, really bad, it's almost as if them being able to sit across from you, feeling all of these intense emotions, but also deep down knowing that things have changed and that maybe they can't engage you. Maybe they can't just blurt out and tell you how deeply they're in love with you or for what, for, you know, for whatever reason. Divine Feminine, you may be at this place where you're like, you know, you don't mind them being totally honest. You don't mind them expressing themselves in this way. But for some reason, when it comes to you, they are practicing a great deal of constraint. Maybe you have set a very, very clear boundary within this connection with this masculine. And they know that, they respect that, they respect you. But what they also know about themselves is like they're being really, really honest with themselves. And they know that they're not able to sit across from you. They're not able to see you. They're not able to be in your presence without them feeling like they want to totally have access to you. This is a masculine that you have merged with, okay, spiritually. We have heart, mind, body, and soul. This is someone where there has been, you know, a deep spiritual bond with, a merging of sense, especially if you have been intimate with this person, okay, that has kind of heightened this energy a lot here. So, yeah, this, this masculine is feeling extremely intense emotion about you, and I definitely feel like this is just giving you a peek into their process. If you're thinking about how they view you from a distance right now, they're absolutely manifesting you. And depending on how energetically bonded you are with this masculine, you know this and you can feel this because you are tapped into their energy because you have energetic access to them and them to you, okay? But they want you to know a merging has happened right now. So for them to sit in front of you, for them to be in your presence, although they want this, they're designing this, they're actively manifesting this, it scares them as well. This is a message coming directly from their heart space, letting you know the raw, real emotion, you know, behind this, behind this masculine, okay? Behind what it is that you may be seeing. Okay, this is definitely something way beyond what you can see here. This is going directly into their core and letting you know their emotional process at this time. Okay, let's get the next message here. Yeah. Yeah, we have You're My Weakness. Yeah. Absolutely. This, this is how they view you, Divine Feminine, if you were wondering how this masculine views you, what it is that they think about you. You make them absolutely weak, okay? I'm getting that this masculine is mentally and emotionally scarred about the current status of, of your connection here, okay? You're the one person who has the ability to make them feel absolutely weak. They may be able to wear a mask, as it pertains to their emotions, but not with you. You can see right through them, okay? There's no hiding with you, right? And I, I definitely feel like this, this masculine is really asking themselves a lot of questions, okay? As it pertains to you, they genuinely wonder what it would be like to see you at the stage of your connection. What would you think of them? Do you still view them the same, okay? They're frustrated with the thought of seeing you or looking into your eyes again and feeling such such intense emotions, right? And having to act as if they don't feel what they feel for you, right? And I'm also getting divine feminine. Like you may definitely feel this energy of wanting them. You want I'm feeling this divine feminine who wants to see this side of this masculine. You wish that they were more emotionally open with you, emotionally expressive with you okay um and they're having like this this kind of internal tug of war right and it's like meeting up with someone like meeting up with an ex okay for some of you this could be your ex 
but I'm definitely feeling like this is someone who you had an initial start with, okay? For some reason, something didn't go right. There's been some distance. There's been some time here. I don't feel any heavy energy with this. Maybe this is something that naturally phased out here. Um, but the overall energy I'm getting is absence makes the, makes the heart grow fonder. So this is someone who, even though they're at a distance from you, this hasn't made them, you know, forget about you in any kind of way. This has heightened their emotions. This has heightened their feelings for you, okay? And um, I feel like this masculine wants to kind of jump right in, right? But they know that they'll have to kind of slow walk this process with you, Divine Feminine. Where you are, you're at this stage where you're really honoring your heart space, okay? And it's really like an even playing field. Even if this is someone who you have history with, okay? It's an even playing field right now. You definitely feel like Anyone who comes into your life, they have to earn, you know, this space to really love you. You know, you have to really know that there's a safe space here. And this masculine feels like they can't control themselves, right? Um, they want more. They feel as if seeing you would really, really trigger them. Like, I'm getting this really explosive kind of energy. Like, they may not know how to keep their hands off of you. Um... There may have been a certain boundary that you set here, and deep down, they don't like it. It frustrates them, okay? Um, and they feel as if they're, they're going to break this because they feel as, as if, if they see you, they're going to want to kind of explore this connection. I'm kind of getting like pick up where you left off kind of energy here, but I'm feeling that you both, this, this is like an intense, this has been an intense connection from the very, very beginning. You both may be feeling this. You know, you both may be a little bit apprehensive about physically being around one another because you know that this is very, very intense energy, okay, that I'm tapping into. And I'm getting that this this is definitely a masculine who is in love with you, okay? They are full of emotion, passion, desire, okay? And they know that seeing you will trigger them in the worst way or in the best way. Okay, depending on where, where you are, but this is what they want. Okay, this is definitely what they want. Okay, let's get the next message here. Okay, the next message that we have is manifesting you. Wow, wow, so that just came full circle. So yes, this is definitely a look into your masculine's mind. Their thoughts are very cyclical at this time, and this is nonstop, okay? For some of you, you may have even heard from this masculine. They may have reached out to you or made plans with you, and for some reason they didn't go as planned, and this is why. They're practicing a great deal of constraint when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, and it's messing with their minds, but they're still manifesting you. This, this is a Divine Masculine who is very, very persistent, okay? They won't even let their own ego or their own thoughts kind of get in their way, okay? It's like they're manifesting you. They have this feeling of like, you know, they can't control themselves when they get around you, but it's not stopping them from manifesting you. And specifically, they want to see you. So you may hear from this masculine, okay? You may get a, and this may be, to, I'm getting this may be totally unexpected because the energy of this, the cyclical nature of this, okay? With the two manifesting you cards here is like they're hyper-focused on something. Hyper, hyper-focused. And I'm getting it on seeing you, visually connecting with you. For some of you, just looking in your eyes is going to confirm something for them or make them feel something or ignite something okay they're not going to be able to really contain themselves with you if you see them in person this will be very very intense because they're feeling a lot of intense emotion right now they're not going to be able to keep their eyes off of you their hands off of you okay they're going to say things that may you may think to be a little bit impulsive but it's almost impossible for them to be in your energy and for them to not be this expressive with you. I definitely feel like you're at this place where you may be starting from scratch. There may have been time, space, distance between you and this masculine, but for them, 
they haven't slowed down. The level of intensity has not um, diminished at all, okay? And they kind of want to jump in and rush right back into you. So depending where you are and how connected you are with this masculine, that may be okay for you. For some of you, I'm definitely getting that you put up a boundary, you put up a barrier. You want to start off a little bit slower here. Maybe they know this, um, but that's really triggering for them here because they have a lot of deep romantic emotions for you. And it's almost as if, you know, they have to hold back or they have to practice constraint. And that's triggering for them because they feel as if you literally belong to them. Okay, this is a masculine who is in love with you, who is actively manifesting you, specifically manifesting, seeing you, being physically in your presence, okay? Having eyes on you, seeing you, okay? being in your presence at this time so yeah you may definitely get an impulsive message from them they may impulsively want to meet up with you okay just fyi this is going to be an intense meeting okay you will definitely pick up on their cues you'll read their body language and see that they are actively trying to kind of hold themselves back here but at the same time, they're not able to practice constraint, you know, when it comes to you just because they feel as if you belong to them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop the reading right here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.